it feels like there's some possibility of a kind of science fiction coming out that destroys everything that's been around it and revives the novel. There's some, something, something in, in, in what I've been reading in, in, in really, ne you know, these are popular books, they win the Nebula Award and the Hugo Awards. There's something I'm reading which is not in anybody else's, not in literary fiction right now, and it's better. They're not about the, the writer's struggle with his own alienation, which is the theme of so much modern literature. They're not about um, the, they're not, they're not novels of manners. And the novel of manners is, is, is a genre in itself. People, you know, it's a genre. And I think that that, that genre is somewhat exhausted. And there's this other thing which is really exciting. And the genre, the crime genre is exhausted, or the hard-boiled tone is exhausted. Uh, it's completely predictable, it's, it's fetishized, uh, and it's, uh, it's kind of boring. Serial killers, vampires, all that stuff is, is to me is, is, I mean, this is the tale, this is like the decadent end of some kind of storytelling right now. All these desperate ghouls and zombies, and there's something lurking on, on the outside, which I think is, is, you know, can come in. I've been reading a writer named Robert Charles Wilson who writes science fiction, one book in particular called Spin, someone had given it to me to look at as a possibility for a, not, for a screenplay. But I don't, I, it, it could make a great movie, but the kind of, but in order to make it into a great movie, someone has to, has to, has to bring something into, into, the, into the movies that's not there now, something into storytelling that's not, that's not there now. And only the science fiction readers, I think, understand know what I'm talking about and, and, are, and are familiar with it. A writer has an idea about the collapse of life on the planet, which is something that everybody's concerned with now. He then says, all right, so what if some force from outside could slow that down? So that's a speculative science fiction notion and already a really interesting idea because it's not taking apocalypse for granted and it's not taking our own agency as, as a, a, our, a, our own agency and it's also not taking, the, these aliens never make a physical appearance, never have a discussion, their actual purpose has to be discovered and, and who they are and what they're doing is never, it's, it, it, all they can do is speculate about it so that the book itself in its own narrative development is itself speculative. So the book is a, the book. It's the book is a, this is the meta, right? The book is a work of speculative fiction. The story within that is speculating as to how this other speculation would play out, and uh, that's not a postmodernist gesture either. It's storytelling. It's it's actually such basic storytelling that the style of the writing doesn't need to be, doesn't need to cover up the paucity of the ideas, the emptiness of the ideas. And, um, and that's a beautiful thing. And the fact that it's hard to talk about is one of the reasons why it's great.